y'all should know by now, man. Y'all see what the title of this video is. It's a piece of my mind, and I have to give y'all this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been a long time since I've done this, and I think after what? After four whole years, y'all, it's about time I get y'all a real genuine piece of my mind, okay? So, you know, we just out here on the beach right now, you know what I'm saying? In good back to life, you know what I'm saying? Got my whole line shirt on, you know? Got them pretty ass Jordans on, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, you know that. But listen, listen, I'm gonna drop y'all some real ass shit. You know, we're gonna get off the reactions for a minute. This thing got nothing to do with it. Well, I got a little bit to do with the reaction. And hey, I'm sorry about the audio. I'm trying something new right now, as y'all can tell. Bear with me. I'm gonna get off some shit, but, uh, can I, can I have a little drink first with y'all, man? Like, I don't, reason why I got such a little bottle, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't drink. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a drinker. It only takes so much to fuck up the dark and stuff. But I'll give you all a piece of my mind, so stay with me. Like I said, don't mind the audio. Um, yeah, so, y'all, it's been a long four years I've been on YouTube, man. And, um, I ain't really get y'all, what I'm gonna get y'all right now, I ain't never really get y'all this side of it. I hope this shit is a little bit of a bitch. She's called it a bitch. Anyway, uh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. First of all, y'all, before I even get to anything, can I just give a personal shout out to a couple individuals in my life? And that first shout out will go to How Can I Do It? His initial is WB, you know what I'm saying? We gonna just say Wes. I don't even I don't even like putting out his whole, you know, name government. So we gonna just say Wes. So y'all, big shout out to you, Wes. You know I love you personally, man. And I'm telling y'all right now, none of this shit would even been well dark thumbs would have been true. But all this shit you see right now, me on this beach chilling and all this shit, none of this shit would be done without him. So man, Wes, I love you, man. Um he been with me from day one, y'all. Um, he helped me get through so much shit in my life. Times I wanted to fucking give up in life, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? He pushed me, you know what I'm saying? To the point where you see me right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to you, Wes, man. I love you. Another person I want to give a shout out to is Larry, man. Larry, I've been knowing this dude for years, for many, many, many years, man. And um, I just want to say, Larry, shout out to you. I love you too, man, for being there with me. Day one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I came to Oklahoma and he pretty much opened your arms to helping me out and being a better individual in my life. So, um, y'all, them two right there, Wes and Larry, shout out to y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all know, uh, y'all pushed me through a lot of shit in my life right now. Y'all know that to this day. Um, let me see who else is. Oh, yeah, shout out my boss, Victoria Dollar. She don't, she don't know nothing about me, but shout out Victoria Dollar. Uh, Putting up on my shit, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I want to get my shout out to. I'll get the rest of my shit out to the end of the video. But right now, them three right now, they hold the belt as far as keeping your boy dark thumbs off for Anyhow, fast forward to right now. Um, no, actually, y'all, how I'm doing this. We gonna just go back to when I got here back from home city. So uh, a lot of y'all know my first three years of YouTube, even the fourth one. Uh, I lived in Arkansas, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's where I started all the dark dumb shit and everything. And, um, I came to Oklahoma City about a year ago, y'all. Let me tell you my intention. So, my intention was to come here and better my life. See, something y'all don't know about me, Mr. Dark I'll just say dark dumb y'all. Anyway, let's just say, once upon a time in my life, dark dumb, I experimented with drugs. You know what I'm saying? I know that's kind of a lot to put out there because I ain't used to talking about this shit on camera and giving it the real. Let me give y'all the real deal, but yeah, I need like a cigarette up because uh yeah I'm smoking on the beach, you know what I'm saying? Do the fuck I want to do grown ass man, hold up. Yeah I'm smoking on camera, this is great. Anyway uh yeah so um hell yeah my royal chair, you know what I'm saying? It's my royal chair. But anyway, so um there's a time in my life y'all when uh I experimented really, really bad with drugs, and uh, it pushed me to points and positions in my life where I wasn't even human, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, I was numb. I had no bones, I had no meat, no flesh, no blood, nothing. I mean, I got all that, you know, visually, but 
that topic, you know what I'm saying? And I just all stems back to whenever I was uh, 15 years old. Let me tell y'all. Whenever I was 15, and like I said, I'm sorry about this audio. It might be fucking distorted as hell, but I'm sorry. That's why I got to do this back then. I don't want y'all to hear this. I don't want y'all to hear it. Anyway, so by the time I was 15, you know, this was approximately four months after my mom uh, passed away. Shout out and most love to the highest, Rosetta Adams. I love you, Mama. I miss you. Um, you know, she passed away whenever I was 15 years old. I'm 38 now, but 23 years ago, I believe. I'm right, I might be mistaken, but it was a time in my life when, um, you know, uh, I stayed with my father. But we don't just no comment on him, because I'm not here to bash. I'm here to talk about my real life. But my father, <coughs> you're right. Anyway, um, it was a time in my life when I stayed with my father for about, from the time my mom passed away to about four months. You know what I'm saying? He met, he met, another, he met his wife about three months later. And so on and so on. I'm gonna get to that shit. Uh, depending on the views from this, depending on the views from this video, I give y'all the nitty gritty. I ain't gonna give y'all the detail shit, but uh, yeah, I stayed with my father at one point, and there was this guy that stayed. I stayed in the projects, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Will Rogers Court. Uh, my sister lived out there. My brother lived out there. My dad stayed. They all had their own place. And I was living with my father. We moved in there together with my dad after mom passed away, and uh. There was this uh, drug dealer. He did now. Uh, rest in peace to him, Lalo. Rest in peace, Lalo. He was a drug dealer, but he wasn't a he wasn't an evil drug dealer. He was just bad because he sold drugs to the drugs. You know what I'm saying? His wife was bad. Uh, but uh, he was a drug dealer, right, y'all? You know, he had a lot of bad drugs. And when I say bad drugs, I ain't talking about no weed. Hell no. I surpassed weed when I was 13. Hell, I stopped. I got caught at the age of 13 and was forced to stop until I was 16. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I was smoking weed when I was like 13. Come home, get in trouble. Mama knew I was high, but couldn't put her fangs on me because I was so much like her. I was good at what I did as far as manipulating my mom and getting what I want. I was good. She taught me how to do that shit to her. I love you, mama. Anyway, so when I was 15, y'all, I, uh, I tried, um, you know, the, the, the bad drug dealer, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he saw a lot of bad drugs, crack, cocaine, heroin, whatever you name he had and shit. But it was mostly crack, and I ain't never smoked no crack. So you, you missed your ball. You can miss our thumbs at that part. Um, so, uh, well, living with my father, you know what I'm saying? We was on very, very, very bad terms. As far as just like right now to this day, we are still on bad terms. And I don't give a fuck if we don't get on good terms. Don't run and tell that, and I mean, anyway, uh, so, this drug dealer stayed in my little, little complex, my little complex section, you know, we say the middle building, you know, the building to the side, and the building to the right, right? So, he stayed in the middle, he stayed on my left side, boom, boom, like, right, I can just, uh, you know, oh, I can look out my dad's window and see his house right there, or go downstairs, open the screen, see him right there to my left. So, one night, I'm over there at the house getting hot, smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? We, we get fucked up. Like, real talk, we get fucked up. And, well, he took a cigarette. Straight up. Oh, shit. Gosh, I got a cigarette. He took a cigarette just like the one I'm smoking. And he dipped it in a liquid. And, you know what I'm saying? At the time, I'm like, what the fuck is you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, it's just a little wet, you know what I'm saying? And back then, I didn't know what the fuck wet was. Ooh, let me tell y'all. So for y'all who don't know what wet is, wet is PCP, it's dip, it's bombing fluid. Yeah, yeah, I know. I didn't know it. 15 years old. You know, coming from my dad's history of drugs, he used to shoot up. Yeah, I said it, motherfucker. My dad was a real bad drug, you know what I'm saying? He used to shoot up and shit, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't do that when I was born. I, I will say that when I was born, he wasn't doing none of that. He had been stopped at the farm before, but he was one of those. So you can see where I get my genes from when it comes to this drug shit, right? So uh um, we smoked it right, he dipped the cigarette in his little liquid, bloop, and it just it sucked the whole cigarette up. And it, he's like, I said, what are you doing? He's like, it's, it's not, just, just chill. He's like, chill, you know, he's older than me, so I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just enjoying, you know, smoking some free weed, you know what I'm saying? So I'm one of those scavenging ass little motherfuckers. And I was always nosy, you know what I'm saying? So he's smoking, right, you know what I'm saying? And the cigarette becomes dry. Well, when it dry, he lit it up. 
and his wife hit it, and he hit it, his wife hit it, he hit it, but no, every time they hit it, they put it out. They wasn't just smoking like that. And I'm like, man, why you always smoking that cigarette? And he was like, it's a wet cigarette. I don't think you want to do this. He was like, uh, you don't want to do this as bad. I'm like, man, whatever. He was like, but your dad right there, he'll kill me if he knew. And he did say that your daddy found out what you're doing with me right now. Your daddy will kill me. I said, man, fuck that. I'm 15 years old. I'm grown. I thought I was. So, you know me, shit. <laughs> I like to feel good. So I hit that motherfucker. And I went like this. He said, back up. All up, little homie. Back up, little homie. He said, give it to me, bro. And I'm like, what? Well, he was like, yeah, you don't just smoke the same regular cigarette. Now his wife just started looking at me like, baby, she, you shouldn't have done that. He was like, shut up, bitch. Straight up. He was like, shut up, bitch. I'm a grown ass man. He's a grown ass man, apparently. So that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking I'm grown, right? So about, I'll say, one minute later, I start feeling weird and shit. You know what I'm saying? I get stuck. He laughing, they laughing like, yeah, you feel it, that shit, you feel it, that, yeah. So the whole time, you know, I'm just bobbing out, like, what the fuck wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is really? So I'm like, what is wrong with me? You know what I'm saying? So I'm feeling good. So I'm over this dude house for at least a good hour and a half. And finally, something hit me, and it was time I had to go home, because, you know, I didn't have a curfew, but I still stayed with my dad, you know what I'm saying? But thankfully, you know, his wife, his new now wife is with him, you know what I'm saying? So he go, he ain't really paying attention to me, you know what I'm saying? So when he saw me, I was gonna tell you what happened. When I left uh, Lalo's house, you know what I'm saying, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I had to go home and go to school the next day. And uh, I walk out the stairs, and I'm not milk y'all, I'm nowhere normal, but I, I'm, I'm walking normal, but I'm not mentally normal. Check this out, y'all. So instead of somebody just walking straight up in front of you, I feel like my body is leaning to the left and I'm shaking like an L. I remember it like it was yesterday. So I'm walking up the house and so I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, the way I'm walking, I'm trying to take big weird steps and shit and you know what I'm saying? Boom, I finally get to inside the house and my daddy looked at me and I said, can you straighten my body? And I'm laughing. He's like, what you mean straighten your body? We're, he looking at me, you know, my posture. He looking at how I'm acting. So he, he instantly puts out, you been at Lalo house, huh? And so I didn't say nothing, right? I was like, nah, dad, but can you straighten my body? And I said, I'm leaning to the left. Uh, make my posture straight. I don't know what I said, but it's something like, make my body straight, and I'm leaning. He was mad as fuck. He was like, you know, that was probably the first time he ever really was a good father. Like, he was really, he really wanted to know what's wrong with me. So what did he do? He fly right over there. I'm upstairs, but this time I shut my door. The room was right next to each other upstairs. So, he flies over to Lalo house, and you know, he got in that ass, you know what I'm saying? My dad was, my dad did care about me enough to uh, understand that I was on drugs and I was young, you know what I'm saying? But I, I'm wild, you know what I'm saying? But my dad go over there, boom, just chew him apart, come back in the house, you know, we, we, my daddy mad, arguing with me. I'm trying to argue with him, you know what I'm saying? But it's not getting nowhere, and I'm just not making sense in my mind ain't clear. So... I'm going to skip a whole, a whole bunch of this part of the story and just say that was the first time I did drugs. Okay. Fast forward to now. Okay. So, um, you know, I look back at my past, y'all. I did a lot of drugs, a lot of bad things in my life. But uh, I've been able to carry myself very well, mature, and, um, like an adult would. You know what I'm saying? And I've been home for a good year and what? Some change, a good year and a month now. And I think I'm doing pretty damn well. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, the reason why I brought that story up is because now, like, I find myself by myself living in this apartment, you know what I'm saying? I'm at the beach now, I don't get fucked up, but I find myself in my apartment right now, y'all, and, uh, um, I'm, I'm lonely, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm lonely, like, not intimate, none, none of that intimacy, nothing. trust me, that ain't nothing but a snap of a That's not my point, I'm saying. I'm lonely for a reason. Uh, you know, I'm, my patience is dead, and I'm, and I got a bit of a paranoia because I work my ass off to get what I got right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I'd be damned if I lose that over anybody and any stupid thought of me going back. So that's why I, I choose to be alone because I'm happier that way. Now, I can go out and party, kick it, because I am the party. I don't need drugs, but I am the motherfucking party. Trust me, I'm the motherfucking party. You know, I'm just getting out. So anyway, um, I find myself by myself now in age, y'all. Know, being able to keep venturing to this YouTube and be all this story I'm giving y'all right now, 
it's a blessing, you know, it's, it's a big blessing. Because, you know, two years ago, you know, I think I made a video, I didn't tell y'all the exact truth about me. You know, I pretty much was dead for four days in the hospital, you know what I'm saying? I had, had uh, fucked around and found out when I had relapsed on some shit. And um, about two and a half years ago, I smoked some, uh, I, smoked, I, I swallowed some liquid acid and push come to shove, it pretty much flatlined. You know, OD me for four days, you know what I'm saying? So that's what happened with that shit, and um, I'm back. But anyway, enough of the death part. But what I'm saying, giving y'all a piece of my mind for right now is because I ain't did it in so long, and I want y'all to just understand that you can overcome anything that you put yourself through. You know what I'm saying? We all make mistakes, we all fall, but it's what you learn and how you graduated from that mistake. And I have graduated from my mistake. Let me tell you why. But if I didn't, I would be talking about this fucking camera right now at the beach, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, what I'm getting at y'all is, you know, I'm a, I'm a lonely fucking cause right now, you know what I'm saying? Do I find my, do I still make mistakes? Absolutely, just like everybody else. But, I don't, I don't go overboard with my mistakes no more. I've learned a lot from my past and the things I've done. And being able to get in front of this camera and give y'all reactions and all this shit, it's, it's just, it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Cause I could be, my bad y'all, uh, I could be in the streets right now just playing around and getting it high as fuck on drugs, but I don't like, I don't like that topic. You know, I basically ran everybody away from me. I turned good people against me. Uh, some of them, they still turned against me, but fuck, I don't care about none of this shit. I ain't got to like you love me. Um, you know, I am, you know, I'm not family or it, uh, or it, or it, family. I ain't really big on the family scene, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got a family, I do. I got four brothers and one sister. Um, uh, I got three brothers by a different dad, you know what I'm saying? They older, way older than me. And we talk every now and then, seldom we, but uh, they still my big brothers, and you know, I do love them too, you know what I'm saying? But we don't really fuck with each other. I don't really fuck with my big brothers. Up, you know, I don't even, I ain't even gonna say none of my family members' name because I I got a bad taste in my mouth from all my family, like for real. But I got a brother and a sister from the same dad and mom, you know what I'm saying? And uh, truth be told, if I want to bash them, it don't even fucking matter. Anymore. But at this point in my life, I can't stand the ass, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave it right there because I dare one of them. Y'all watch the video, I dare one of y'all to come out, come after me after me. Anyway, uh, I don't get along with them, you know what I'm saying, at all. I don't get along with my dad, you know. So my dad, my brother, my sister, I got little tolerance. In fact, I ain't got no tolerance for them. I don't fuck with them, you know what I'm saying, because they don't fuck with me, point blank. Uh, for instance, y'all, uh, what I mean by that, let's say, uh, my mom's birthday was the, the, the 10th of this month. You know what I'm saying? Happy late birthday again, mom. Uh, I made a video, y'all, y'all seen it on my uh, video. Uh, it was a thumbnail of me, and it said, uh, happy birthday, mom! I love you. And had a picture of me on the right and the left. That was me. Now, take note. Uh, I'm on Facebook. I got you know a lot of family members on Facebook. Aunties, uncles. Well, actually, not uncles. Yeah, I got uncles and yeah, cousins. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, on her birthday, and it's been like this for years. Didn't nobody say shit about. Uh, I miss my sister. I miss my mom. You know, I miss my whatever. Ain't nobody ever say shit about my mom. My mama rarely gets brought up. You know what I'm saying? She just don't get brought up. You know why I don't bring her up? Because she was the baddest bitch in America, I promise you. Uh, when I was younger, my mom moved us from the, the hood. And I said the hood, we stayed on Northwest. I can't, in the, we was on Independence on like 22nd Independence, somewhere around there. So I can't remember exactly where. But we stayed in a raggedy ass house. We had roaches. We had all that, that shit that you can imagine. But we didn't, our house didn't stink. We wasn't no dirty motherfuckers, but we stayed in a bad ghetto ass house. You know what I'm saying? So, Probably when I was about five, six, seven years old. Uh, probably about five, yeah, about five or six. My mom, no, no, no about four, about five, six, seven, yeah. My mom took us, uh, and let me just tell y'all the truth about my mom. She was a stone cold, die first, alcoholic, meaning she drank every day, 24 7, regardless how she felt, that, uh, how drunk she was, whatever. Anyway. I remember when I was younger, my mom used to take me out with her, you know, to my auntie's house, and they'd get stupid drunk, and I have to be there and watch, and da, 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 da. you know how I go, being a little kid, especially a little black kid with a, with a black mother like mine, they didn't take me to school. My mama was so real, God had to ask to discipline her, facts, not lying. But anyway, she moved us from a ghetto-ass fucking house to a, in a, you know, mid-suburb, we'll just say mid-suburb, 
white neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? From Southwest side. Southwest 47th and Main Street, baby. Don't fucking play with me. I used to run these streets. But anyway, back to my point. So, um, she took us from a fucking, um, a bad neighborhood to a nice house. Now, this was, this was probably the, one of the least or nice houses on the block. You know what I'm saying? But uh, she moved us into it. Now, take note, we were the only blacks on the block. The whole time my mom was alive. It was never another black. Well, I'll take that back. It was. It was a black family next door, next door to us. But they only stayed there for like a year or two and they moved out. Um, they was bougie anyway, but they, they, I still love them. I still remember all the neighbors bougie stuff because they was I mean, my mom was hood. I mean, it, but she was, my mom was hood as fuck. When I say hood, you mean, okay, so I told you my mom had a drinking problem, right? So even as a little youth, a kid, six, seven years old, when I say, mom, can I go outside and play with my friends? She'd be like, yeah, but let me tell you something, you little motherfucker. You better go tell your friend, mama, or daddy, they better buy me a bottle of fucking semen gin. It just had to be a little one. You know what I'm saying? If they don't buy you, if they don't buy me a bottle of gin, you can't play with their son and their kid. And you know, I'm a kid, like, but that's my friend. She'd be like, I don't give a fuck. I need that gin. So if they ain't gonna give you no gin, you can't go over the house no more. So you best fucking believe I they bought my mom a bottle of gin. Not every time, but when she wanted and she didn't have no money, they bought one. Because if they didn't, she'll cuss their ass out. And if they didn't get the point, she'll mob to their house and cuss them out, drunk and all in front of their ass. And they never called the police. You know what I'm saying? So, take note to that. Now, let me have one more drink. Hold up. I'm giving y'all a lot right now. It's a lot I'm giving y'all. Like I said, it's just peace of my mind. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be more to come. Jesus. Right. Woo. But yeah, my mom was a savage. She was a bully. When you when you do something wrong and say something wrong and you just a thousand percent wrong and you tell the person that's right, motherfucker, I'm right, you wrong. And you get away with that, you a cold mother. That's why I said my mom was the baddest bitch in America. She can be dead stone wrong about something and get away with it. Uh, if you didn't like her, she didn't give a fuck. Hell, I'm gonna get through this part, another part, but my mama cussed out my principal, the principal, threatened to call the police. My mama so straight told that, that uh, Miss Hess, her name is Miss Barbara Hess, I remember. She was walking to school one day, I'm, like I said, I'm young, I'm still in elementary. I think I was in between kindergarten and third grade is when it happened. I got in trouble at school, and they were trying to discipline me. I had like referrals out the ass. It had to be in like third grade. But that's fourth grade, and that's when I got in trouble the most. Fourth grade, when I just turned to a bad motherfucker. Anyway, she called my principal a bitch. She was ready to call, call the police for my mom. My mama said, fuck you. I can't remember. She said a lot of bad cuss words. You know, fuck you, bitch, whatever. Da, 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 da. Take my hand and leave my back home. Well, she didn't call the police for my mom because they already knew my mom wasn't going to play with As a youth, I know this. Now, fast forward to now, y'all. I'm not trying to go back and forth, but I can want to give y'all so much right now because I'm blessed up. But, but um, the reason why I'm giving y'all peace of my mind right now is because I find myself by myself and I'm alone. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all got family members out there, that's good. That's good. That's good. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, family don't mean a damn thing to me. I'm sorry. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Um, for me to have as much cousins and all this shit that I got and be on Facebook and be putting out these content videos, whatever. No, none of my family members fuck with me like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm like my mom. That's how I know I'm identical to my mom. She had brothers, she had sisters, and she had five other kids. But out of all her kids, I am the one. You know what I'm saying? She got the halo over me. And the shit I've done in life and got away with, please. I should be riding dead in jail somewhere right now. I swear to God. But my mama that got me out of a situation from a DUI with an open container. You know what I'm saying? Got caught with uh with drugs. Got let go. You know what I'm saying? All kind of shit, man. So, uh... What I mean by that is, I, I feel like being alone right now. I feel like my mom, you know what I'm saying? My own family don't want to fuck with me because I'm, I'm, I'm outspoken, I'm smart, I'm witty, and I'm mature. Now, you know, you figure I can run to my, my, my blood brothers and sisters and sister for uh, advice and that. No, the fuck you can't. Hell, they, they just, well, I'll say my brother and sister. They just as retarded as my black ass. You know what I'm saying? They smart as hell, they beautiful, but they dumb as fuck. If you know what I'm saying? They're stupid. Both of them. My brother and sister is dumb. I promise you. Um, 
Now, you know, my sister, she don't say she did raise five beautiful kids and she did, they did, she raised them right, you know what I'm saying? But she still ain't right at all, you know what I'm saying? She's just dumb as a fucking doorknob. My brother, he just, we even got a, let me see, he dumb as a, uh, he's dumb as dumb can fucking be, period, you know what I'm saying? My dad, uh, how can I describe my dad? Trash, fucking straight up trash, period. Um, and I don't care if they watch the video. Oh well, they ain't got they ain't they ain't got the heart to confront me after this video. But uh, but I'm getting to my point of my peace my mind is y'all that I'm a lonely motherfucker, y'all know what I'm saying, by choice. And uh, you know, with dealing with my paranoia and can't trust nobody, it's probably gonna be like this. So I said, hell, let me give y'all this piece right now, because I gotta go back, we gotta go do some reactions after this. But uh I feel like I just give y'all a piece of my heart where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? And right now, uh I'm fighting a uh a garnishment, I ain't gonna, I'm fighting a garnishment on my check right now, and uh, it does involve a particular, um, damn, what you call that, sibling of mine, but I ain't gonna say its name, no, I said its name, but, uh, that's what, you know what I'm saying, even as a youth, you figure this individual was, you know, look out for my best interest, as a youth, at 16 years old, but now when I turned 16, they, you know, this individual pretty much is using me till this day, you know what I'm saying? So, we ain't got the best, uh, you know, we ain't got the best relationship, me and this individual, of my bloodline, first bloodline of mother and dad. Anyway, uh, I don't want to go too far in that, but if y'all give me some good views on this, I'll give y'all a real story on what I'm talking about, because that's some good shit y'all want to hear. And, um, um, I'm chilling out here on the beach right now because I'm lonely, and I don't give a damn how, you know, my family with me no more. I don't. I don't care what they think of me because, um, you know, you got people like Wes and Larry that come through in the clutch for your boy, and I mean they come through in the clutch. Wes and Larry, bro, that that's some friends. You talking about some real friends? That's some fucking friends. And they not even my family. You know, uh, shout out uh, to the blocks. Let's say shout out to the blocks. When I was in Arkansas for all seven, eight years, I was in Arkansas. I can go to the block house up in Missouri and they used to be like, I'm their own damn kid. I'm talking about uh, birthdays, send me a birthday card. Uh, I love you, how you doing? Um, I go see them, they can feed me. Uh, uh, we would go to uh, uh, their properties, other properties and see great things. Uh, you know, they just pulled me in like I was one of their own kids. These are all white people, don't know nothing about me at all. I'm just some black ass dude that they met through, uh, through their son, you know what I'm saying? But that was the last, you know, that that that's what real family is right now. That that right there is what I'm missing, you know what I'm saying, in my heart. But now I'm sewing that hole up in my heart. And now that I'm sewing that hole up in my heart, I'm getting vicious, like verbally vicious naturally. You know, my love for my family is starting to turn to hate. Not that's a big ass word, but I mean that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I was a little taller. All I wanted was clarity from my my, uh, my brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? And they showed me that clarity a certain way, but now we older. Hell, I ain't heard from these motherfuckers in a year, but they, they think once every eight months and say hi to me is okay. That shit ain't okay. I've been back home for a year now. These motherfuckers still turn their nose up and walk away and judge me. Now, I don't give a fuck no more. I'm strong, you know what I'm saying? My, and my mom knows with the halo over me, they can't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Can't none of them fuck with me on no levels. I don't care what they say, what they do, how much smarter they think they are than me. They cannot fuck with me. That's why they all run from me and stay away from me. You know, they think this little every, hey little bro, what's up? Keep me up every 20, every 300 videos, hit me up on fucking YouTube. Hey little bro, good job. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, you, if you go, let me tell y'all something. I did videos for these motherfuckers. Put their names, their pictures in there, their kids in there, their kids' names, pictures in there, all this shit. You know what I'm saying? As an uncle, you know what I'm saying? I've done a lot of shit for their kids. I, I, I try to stay relevant with them. I try to, you know, stay happy, but I'm like my mama. Don't come to me with no bullshit. Especially if I know I'm right and you're wrong, then you ain't got a chance. So I don't care how much you raise your voice and what you go tell the next, it don't matter. But yes, um, my family, it don't feel like a family. I had more good times with, with, with the blocks than I have in the past 10 years of my life. You know what I'm saying? I remember in moments of times in my life, I need my brother and my siblings. They was all making me, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm older. I don't give a fuck if they see me talk to me or not. And that goes for all four brothers and my sisters. I don't give a fuck if they don't want to talk to me no more. I don't care. Y'all don't fuck with me enough anyway to this day. You know what I'm saying? 
as much as I'm doing, these motherfuckers ain't gonna back me up. Hell, I got an older, older brother, uh, Tony Terrell. He, we, we friends on Facebook, but shit, we didn't talk to each other about three times in life. That's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, if I had a little brother, I'm telling y'all, man, my life would be awesome. So when I see my big brothers and sisters and the way they treat me, fuck out of here with that shit. Stay the fuck away from me. Y'all motherfuckers ain't good. Y'all, y'all ain't worth my time. But I, I say that because I lack love in my heart, of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I love life, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, you know? I think that's a lot I gave y'all so far. So we're going to just stop right there because you can see I'm getting emotional and getting my feelings. I'm at the beach, enjoying myself. I ain't got time for this shit. Feel me? But um, let's get back to some more shit right now, some positive shit. Yeah. So we off the bed. Trust me. Depending on the views from the video, I give y'all some real stories. Now this all stems from drugs. Is the whole point. I know I ain't never told y'all that, but um, at one point in my life, I love to do drugs. You know what I'm saying? Drugs fill holes, gaps, and void in your brain, and it, it makes you feel love that you ain't get from people you think you should get. I know I ventured off and just did it to y'all about my family, but let's get back to the drugs part. Let me tell y'all something about drugs. Drugs will, uh, they make your mind play tricks on yourself. They make you feel vulnerable at times you shouldn't be vulnerable to do the things you do. And I've done some crazy shit. I ain't never been no thief, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't never physically hurt nobody on purpose. Hell yeah, I done bust a couple of Hell yeah, I done bust a couple of hits in my life. I ain't gonna lie, I beat the brakes off motherfucking hell. I remember when I was in, in middle school, my brother and my dad watched me beat up these two dudes, Javier and Brian DeRozan. I don't remember Javier last night, Brian DeRozan. I beat, I knocked this motherfucker's teeth out, this was a white dude, and the other dude was like an Indian or Mexican, I think Mexican. I beat the brakes off these motherfuckers right in front of my neighbor's house. That's facts. You know, ask my brother and my dad about that. So my brother and my dad know I ain't no punk, no bitch. Point blank, it's not my blood. My mama didn't know like that. But, um, you know, stemming from drugs, man, like, they, they can alter your brain, alter your mind, and make you be in situations you don't ever, ever, ever want to be in or shouldn't have been in in the first place. But I was able to overcome all that shit and give y'all this content right now because um, I'll tell you right now, drugs is shit if you in that lane. I'm not in that lane no more, but man, drugs is, you know, drugs are just fun if you do them with the right people, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not, I'm not glorifying drugs. I'm just saying drugs have been through some hard times in my life. When, uh, you know, I did want to spaz out and hurt somebody verbally or physically, especially in my family, I can just go get high or something, whatever. Like I said, I've done a lot of drugs. Just ain't never shot, uh, no, no, nothing in my arm. I ain't never smoked no crack. You know what I'm saying? Never done that shit in my life. I've never been that kind of a drug addict. But um, I was a drug addict at one point in my life. With, uh, hell. When y'all first see me in my YouTube days, I was sober as hell then, you know, I was fat and all that, but I still, you know, fucked up, you know, in the past four years, I fucked up, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just want to get that piece off y'all, man, and let y'all know that uh, no matter how bad you do in life, you start stealing, you got to find something that's pushing push me. And what I'm doing in front of this camera and talking to y'all, this is what's pushing me, all that turmoil you all with, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, y'all, uh, uh, I love all y'all out there, man. Old, the middle of new subscribers. I fucking love all y'all. I really do, man. Like I said, shout out Larry. Shout out West, y'all, man. Them, them, them two dudes made it possible for me to be standing here right now and talking to y'all. So, uh, uh, this is the piece of my mind part. I don't know if this is five or six. I'll figure it out before I upload it. But uh, uh, this is just a piece of my mind. So, y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy in life right now um, on the outside. Inside, you know, it's a lot more I want to give y'all, but I can't do that right now because I just can't. It's only a piece of my mind, a piece of it, so I can't give y'all everything, anything. But um, let's take one more drink before we get up out of here, man, y'all. And I'm gonna continue, like I said. Oh yeah, and uh, for y'all who don't fuck with my YouTube, that watching this video, family, whatever. Hey, trust me, the artists be letting me know. You know what I'm saying? I've had at least six artists personally, six artists that's on YouTube mainstream and everything i've had them comment on me shit the pacific killers shout out pacific killers from california baby man them dudes be hit me up you know what i'm saying they're from california i i i found them through crooked eye or king crooked i'm sorry from uh one one quarter of the fall house at one point but um i did a reaction to that video they hit me up like yeah they super chatted me at two dollars 
fuck out of here. Don't tell me y'all know what I'm doing in these YouTube streets. But it's been about six or seven artists that hit me up. Jam Wayne, Chris Webby, uh, who else? Uh, Chris, Chris Calico, uh, who else? I think Gone hit me up. Who else? Lloyd Banks, not Lloyd Banks, but Lloyd Banks producer hit me. Y'all know Lloyd Banks from G Unit. One of his producers hit me up, bro. I'm gonna get the hell out of here, y'all. So, my rare achievements and accomplishments that y'all probably will overlook, it's a big thing to me. You know why? Because I don't have friends. I don't have friends. I got friends, but I'm sick of these part time friends. Part time friends meaning I'm your friend when I need something from you, even if it's your money. Or your, your, your word. But when I call on their ass, it's totally honest. And that's why I say, y'all that be on Facebook, fuck Facebook. Facebook is really should be called Feelings Book. That's the only time you get on there is when you're trying to get in your feelings. And you know, you got all these friends on Facebook that you keep up with. So when you notice that you're always, you know, initiating the conversation with these friends, they're not your friends. You know, so I've been here a year and a half. A year and a half. A year and a month. And I say maybe three friends really hit me up genuinely on their own knowing I'm here. Some of them didn't even know I was back home. You know what I'm saying? They all been in the fucking comments on my videos I post and everything. They think I'm still in Arkansas. Why? They don't fuck with your boy. But it's okay. My subscribers, all y'all do. My old middle new subscribers, I fucking love y'all, man. And that's it. That's all I'm going to give y'all for a piece of my mind. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to vent no more. But, uh, Y'all want to see more videos like this from me, man. I'm just, I'm happy, y'all. I'm just expressing. I'm not happy eternally, but on the outside, and talking to y'all right now, I am really happy right now. So, uh, y'all want to see more of this piece of my mind, man. Y'all need to uh, get this video up, get the thumbs up on it, you know what I'm saying? Get this, we need like 300 views on this video. In fact, you know, I ain't going to drop no more piece of my mind until y'all at least get this video. When this video hit 300 views, I drop another part. So, if y'all want to hear me get on some detailed shit in my life, like, like one time when I got a ticket and I went to jail in Arizona, y'all, hey, that's a funny ass story right there. Y'all want to hear that story, man? Get this video up to 300 views. But if y'all don't get up to 300 views, you never know when I'm going to drop this in my mind. That's it, man, y'all. So uh, I love y'all, man. And anybody that's watching this video, take me, uh, take note. Uh, you know, you got to go through real life experiences to even understand who you are. And I'm 30 fucking 8 years old right now. And I spent at least 15 years of my life doing the wrong shit on purpose to get a stupid ass result. Let that see. How I many times are we going to take shortcuts in life just to get to a dead end? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That boy, Dark Duck, is nasty. The word, but yeah, y'all. Uh, let's have this break, y'all, and stop this video because uh, I I'm ready to do something else. Because, uh, <laughs> I I'm going to tell y'all so much more, but. I don't know, I'm trying to open. I'm trying to open up myself to, you know, what I'm saying, meet more people in life, being happy, being genuinely happy, not just for them. So let's take this last shot real quick. Fuck up. Anyway, everybody out there right now watching, hey y'all, keep your head up, stay positive, and um, don't look the other way if you ain't got to. But if you force to look the other way. But I love y'all. I gotta get a battery. My computer for die. D A. I am a D A. I am a D A R K. Out. <laughs>